Okay, everyone, I will warn you that this will probably be a long video because I'm going to go through my two albums from when I went to the UK in 2016. So these are a slightly different format album than I normally do, so I thought I would go through them. I have two albums from that trip. I was only there for 10, 12 days-ish. Um, but there are two different parts of the trip, that's why there's two albums. Plus it fit better in two albums. Okay, so I will start with album number one, and I will apologize in advance for any glare from my light. I tried to adjust it before I started filming. So, my album starts out like this. <laughs> um, I don't have a title page for it yet because I don't know what pictures I want to put on the title page. So I have all the pieces in here, which are pieces of paper that I've used throughout the album. Um, so that's what I'm planning on using. And I'll probably mix in a little bit more because I ran out of this collection. Um, well, main pieces of this collection, and then I started using bits and pieces of other stuff. So I'll probably add more papers to this to make it match the other things. But for now, this is my title page. <laughs> um, this page here is blank, but I know what I want to put here. I just haven't done it yet. I want to print a 12 by 12 picture of this. This place. So this is Arbroath Abbey. Um, so this is, I guess, the first layout of my album currently. Then we move on to more pictures of Arbo Abbey, so three pages. A lot of the pages in this album are very simple because they correspond with the pocket pages, which is what makes this album different than most pages. So this was actually a class I took, and it's a simple stories album to album class. We use the Simple Stories Life in Color collection. So this is what it turned out like. I did map my photos on black cardstock throughout this album if they're in the pockets from the page, from the class. So this is what I was saying, but this is a very different album. Um, there is a mix in this album of 12 by 12 and pocket pages. So this is all our both Abbey still. Still our both Abbey and this is where I start to use other products outside of that life and color collection. I think this is still a simple stories paper, but it's not from that collection. So on a lot of these pages, I will have mixed in bits from the Life in Color collection, but I didn't on this page. Um, a lot of these pages I made out of crop, and I took a limited amount of supplies with me to make them, which is also why they're very simple designs and um, in terms of embellishment. This is also, um, this I think is from the same paper, paper package. I believe it's the Simple Stories Hope. Is that what it was called? I think it's called that. Hope Collection. And another thing in this album that I'm doing a little bit different than other collections is that there are large photos in here. This is probably my favorite layout, the whole two albums. And it's very, very simple, but I just love how you have this big picture and then like a picture in picture type look. Um, Nothing on here is from the Simple Stories Life in Color collection. I swear I did use that collection for most of the album. This is Chamel, and I think this is uh, Pink Paisley. So, also in this album, there are smaller page protectors. So this is a half page protector that has three 4x6 pockets in it. Slide it over a bit. So I just made it the same on both sides, the pocket. Actually, I think this is, yeah, this is just one card and it's used front and back. So, um, yeah. 
I didn't really care what the sentiment said because, I mean, it's a travel album. It's not, not the end of the world. So this is another page protector. So this is the design A for those of you who know Project Life pages. And the other thing really different here is that I took a 4x6 photo and I cut it in half to put in the two 3x4 pockets side by side. And I really like how this turned out. Again, I used the Life in Color collection. Um, yeah. So throughout my album, you might notice that I have pieces of washi tape on the join. That's because these page protectors, the stuff inside them falls out very easily. Um, so I just put washi tape along the seam. It seems to be working. And then on the back, I did it the same in the same spot as well, just to so you wouldn't see the back side of this washi tape on the reverse. So journaling, pictures. There's a lot of scenic pictures from this portion of my trip. Um, this is just saying where I was, what we were doing. Um, this is where I start to mix in other paper collections, but they have the same basic colors. This is a 12 by 12 page with a bonus spot. So this is actually a flip it's a flip flap from Close to My Heart. And on the back of it, I'm going to do some journaling. I just haven't done it yet because I have to look up what this is called and then I will write about it on the other side. So, so here again, we I have a big picture. This is actually a picture taken with my cell phone. It's a panoramic picture. You can see my shadow here with my uncle beside me. Um, this is just an old harbor on the Scottish coast. It's called Achmithy, if you ever want to go there, the little town. It's very, very small, the town. <laughs> so more scenic photos. <laughs> um, this is another interactive, oh, let me move it up. This is another interactive part of my album. So this actually flips open and then there are more pictures inside. Um, I can do a tutorial on this if you want, would like. I really like how this turned out and I do it several times in this album and I also do it, um, I'll do an album share of my Italy album after this as well. Oh, just as a note to this, this only works on the front of page protectors because you have to be able to open it and on the back you can't do that. So just a tip if you're thinking of doing this. so. Here's some more unfinished. I need to put something up here. I just haven't decided what, so I left it blank. Um, I really like how this red stands out against the bright blue of the water. The water was actually this blue. It's not a camera coloration issue or anything like that. <laughs> this is Simple Stories paper, but it's from a different collection. I think it's from the Go Now Go collection. Or no, sorry, that's Chevelle. Um, here we go, was that a simple story collection? <laughs> um, I forget what it's called, but it's actually the collection that I use. Oh, sorry. This is the collection that I used in my Italy mini album. So another um, 12 by 12 page, which is very simple documenting different roof tiles that they have there. They don't tile their buildings like that anymore, but this is a really good building. Um, I try to put a lot of wood grain in my albums from Scotland because I feel it's very complimentary. So this is a single page, single photo page, and then here we have more um, this is a flip, flip up uh, page, so there's more pictures of her inside. And again, I'm going to put something on the front of this. I just haven't decided. I want to put some kind of title or something that 
incorporate what we were doing this day, but I don't know what I want to say. So um, it's one of those things I'm gonna have to go back and look through my album and see, or look through the journaling to see what I have said and then come up with a title from there. So more here again, um, this is a four by six photo that I cut in half to fit in the pocket. I like doing that. If you don't like doing that, don't do this. Um, there's lots of journaling in this album, so it makes it really good if you have a lot to say. Um, I did use some brighter colors in areas because I was at a crop and this is all I had with me. So, <laughs> what I used. <laughs> Or I use some different simple stories. This is the Simple Stories I Am collection, this paper. And it coordinated really well with the Life in Color collection. So you will see most of my pages are two four by six photos going in the same direction. That's generally how I scrapbook all my layouts. For example, there's one right here. Same thing. I just put this video up if you're interested. So again, two four by six photos going in the same direction. This time they're slightly um, angled in different directions. Not a lot, just a little bit for to kind of mimic the starburst in the background. So more large photos. My photos are kind of out of order, but it's the only way that I could make them work with the divided page protectors. So that's fine. Um, I really want to make this a big photo to have it a big focus because I love this picture of her looking at the ducks in the water. So again, <laughs> um, this pocket is not finished. I didn't know what to put there. I will eventually come up with something. This is just pictures of my family in Scotland. And these are pictures of statues around Dundee. Um, so I wrote about what it was here, and then I put the pictures in here. All the different statues around the city that I saw. And this is my beloved Highland cow. I love, 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 love the Highland cows. So I, I call this page, I love my cows. Uh, I take pictures of them every time I'm there. I love them. This is just along the side of a highway in Dundee, in case you're looking to see some Highland cows. There are also some at Glam's Castle, which I didn't go to on this trip, but I am going there in August. This is um, the Dundee Museum. It's all about life throughout history in Dundee. So this is a gold foil paper from um, close to my heart. I think this page, paper background page is actually from close to my heart as well, but I could be wrong. Pretty sure it's from close to my heart. Or it could be simple stories, basics, because I have lots of that paper too. So this is another, I will probably, once I turn the camera off, come back and put the washi tape here because these pieces tend to fall out. This is just another divided page of pictures from in the museum of things that I felt cool. This is actually Pictish stone carvings. If you're interested in that, they have quite a bit there. Um, this is more, this is actually um, needing to be finished. I need to write about what this is because I haven't done that and I didn't put a title on it yet because I wanted to find out the exact title of this museum. This is a jute factory museum or where they make jute cord twine. You can see it in the picture here. So I need to go back and write about that. I just have to look it up because I don't know. This is just my family's garden. I was trying to use up a package of embellishments. I was trying to challenge myself to make three layouts and use as many of the embellishments that I can. So this is one of the ones that I made. Now, there is a blank spot. I don't know what to put here. I will put something. I took a lot of pictures. I will eventually put something here. I just don't know what. 
Um, this there is another. Let me move this up. So there's another flap here that um, it was my cousin's birthday this day. And this is just pictures of my family in Scotland. So now I have this weird thing with my elbow where it changes to London. When I made this album, I did have more of London in this album, so it made sense when it changed from London on the back of a Scotland page. However, a little bit of strange reality. This actually came before all of my Scotland. So, it's a little bit of a weird thing going on, but I didn't care, so I left it. Um, so this is where the London portion of the trip starts. And I do have to go back in and journal about these pictures because obviously if you look at these pictures later, like there's a shower faucet and the thermostat with the key card in it. So it wouldn't make sense unless I go back to journal. And that brings us to album number two. So I will just grab that album. Um, these are Project Life albums, if you're interested. They are pink. I know it's not showing up as pink on here. Um, but they are like a salmon corally pink. Um, this is my to-do list for my two albums. <laughs> so I do have things. Actually, this is just my layout for, oh, this is this album. And this is the previous album. So clearly I have more to do in the Scottish portion of it than the England portion, or the, the London portion. I only have one thing to do in this album. In this picture. So this is where it starts um, London. So there's another um, pocket flip card here that reveals picture of Buckingham Palace. I actually have a better picture of Buckingham Palace from the first time we were in London because they didn't have this road closed so it was open to traffic so there's no pedestrians in it. But these flare ba badges I got on Etsy. I'm not sure what store it was but she has tons and tons of flare badges. So if you're looking for something this is the London pack. And my pelicans. I really like birds, so we went to St. James Park and watched the pelicans. Again, here I have a piece of washi tape to keep this from falling out, and I did match it on the other side. Or sorry, it's on this side to keep it from falling out, which it still does, <laughs> even though I have that there. So this is just the pelicans eating. Um, the pelicans get fed every day in St. James Park. And it's free if you want to go watch them. And also a heron got fed too. This guy, he has a fish in his mouth. So lots of journaling, lots of pictures, little embellishments. Um, I didn't put any embellishment on this page. It's just pictures and then a filler card. I mean, it's pictures of flowers you don't really need. Any more information? <laughs> Something special. Uh, 12 by 12 layout of husband and I sitting in St. James Park. And my hair was really red then. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the video. So, this page again, no journaling on here. I journaled a lot about this in my first album to London, so I probably won't be journaling much anymore on it. I just, this is the only picture that I took of this also on this trip, which is strange, but. So scattered embellishment, lots of layers. I actually made the layers before I put the picture on. So, another pocket page, lots of pictures, a little bit of journaling. These are just the other birds other than the pelicans. Oh, well, no, that's the heron. Um, these are just the different gooses and, or geese rather, and swans and ducks that they have in St. James Park, which is my favorite park in London. This is in the Household Calvary Museum. Um, 
So again, just another one of those flare badges. And just various pictures. I used a horse sticker here, which was very exciting because I don't have reason to use a horse sticker often. I'm aware I spelled Calvary wrong. I just haven't gone back to change it yet. Lots of journaling on this page with just some photographs of this is the outside of the building and some old uniforms. This is the Horse Guards Parade. Um, we were lucky to, when we didn't see the full changing of the guard, but we did see them on horseback going to the changing of the guard at the palace. This is more just of the horse guards parade here. And then on the other side, this is Globe Theater in um, Shakespeare's Globe Theater. So I put a quote here from Shakespeare, one of his plays, um, just to have something different. This is another flip pocket um, that has a picture of the stage and also some, oh, I'm sorry. Also some journaling about how it poured down rain and I put these little rain umbrella embellishments on here which I actually bought in London. Those are stickers from London. The Globe Theatre was an excellent tour if you are interested in going there. This is the old operating theatre. Um, my husband did not come with me. It's just some basic pictures, old operating table, or a hospital table. I'm not sure what that is. Um, this is the old operating tables here, and this is the theater. And this is how they made pills, and some various ingredients, strange things that they used to put in pills. So, title card, and journaling about what I saw there. And where it is, and in London, because it's in a really weird spot. Um, this pictures of Westminster Abbey. I didn't go in the Abbey, I just went to the outside because when we were there last time, this was all covered by scaffolding. So I was excited to see it there. And lots of journaling about the Abbey. Um, food page. I usually have pictures of food. So this is at Nando's. This is the restaurant we were at. Coffee. This is actually from this restaurant. Um, lots of journaling and scones with clotted cream, which is my absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world. And I can't wait to eat more of it. This is my picture of St. Paul's Cathedral. I did edit this picture to make the colors more vibrant. Um, I did not know at the time how to make my camera so that the colors would be more vibrant, but that's okay. I just edited my picture and printed it at home. I used more of the London badges. And um, this is Dear Lizzie documentary collection. Oh, and more of these puffy stickers that I bought in London. And I do have them scattered around. I don't know what to put on this page. Um, yeah, I might just print a picture of Tower Bridge or something, even if it's not from this trip, and put it here. I'm not really sure. <laughs> this is at Himley's, the toy store. We went in the toy store, we looked at all the toys, we bought nothing, we took pictures of the life-size Lego bits. Yeah, <laughs> so that's about it. Um, here's a picture of me standing beside the X-Wing fighter. So just lots of filler cards and little bits of embellishment, washi tape, and things like that. So this is at the V&A Museum. Here is where I'm starting to run out of pieces from the Life in Color collection. So uh, I'm using a lot of little bits and pieces that are cut out. I love this picture. It's in the hall of... I'm not really sure what this is called. It does have a very specific name, but I forget what it's called. This is another one of those layouts where I made three layouts to try and use up all the embellishments in one embellishment package. Um, coffee cup, I take pictures of all my coffee cups when I'm traveling. So 
something that I do. It's weird, I know. Um, this is at the V&A Museum in London. This is a partial paint detector. Again, this is just where I had lunch. And then some um, woodworking in the, the museum itself. I sat and looked at this cross for a really long time. So I wanted to include a picture of it in my album. This, I'm checking, because there are some that have flaps on them, so I'm checking them all if you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, just more artifacts from the v &A Museum with some journaling spots. Lots of carvings here. No journaling, just pictures with carvings. Um, this is the third layout in that little series that I did um, with that embellishment package. This is actually a Chamel um, video on YouTube. So she makes the layouts with three photos, two photos, and one photo using all the same, like, one kit. So that's what I was doing. Um, this is pictures of silver, or a picture of a, a, a hall, it's a giant hallway, of silver in the museum. So I put silver glitter paper and silver puffy hearts on there, as well as more rhinestones because silver is sparkly. Um, this one has a flap, yes. So this has a flap, it actually goes not the way that you think. Um, this is a, they have a exhibit on fashion there and I didn't know where to put these pictures. So I stuck them on this page with various artifacts. And there's some journaling underneath there about things that we saw. Um, this is from a room and in the museum where they have plaster casts of various artworks. Um, this is Trajan's column from Rome, which I have a picture of, which I plan on doing a f uh, layout with them side by side, the plaster one and the real one. This is Rosling Chapel in Scotland, which we're going to this year. I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> More carvings here. No journaling, just little bits, little pieces. This is leftover pieces from that embellishment pack that I was using to make those layouts. Um, this is the lobby of the VNA Museum. I was laughing because my pictures from Link my 12 by 12 layouts from the VA museum all say VA on them. But yeah. This is a new section, so this is Greenwich Park. This is actually the end of the day, but I wanted to put them all on one. Well, it's various parts of the day, but this is the end of the day. This is the Greenwich uh, Naval College here, so I just did some little bit of journaling about the Naval College. This is the Greenwich Maritime Museum. I used a pocket here that was hanging around for forever. I carried some silver sparkly glitter paper through. Um, this is a smaller divided page protector. I just wanted to fit all of the Greenwich Maritime Museum pictures in one spot. So a little, little journaling up here, very minimal um, embellishing on these. And again on the back side, very minimal embellishing. Um, I used some uh, boat themed paper for this, which I thought was appropriate. And there's a ship in a bottle, which is actually because outside the museum they have a giant ship in a bottle. So I 
took the opportunity to use that. <laughs> when am I going to use it again? Um, this is just a view from the, top, the bottom of the hill. This is the Royal Observatory. Greenwich, so I put a globe on it because it's where the prime meridian is. This is a picture of my husband eating. He doesn't like when I take those pictures. I tried something new and used little coils of baker's twine. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but there it is. This is the at the prime meridian. So this is at the Greenwich observatory. So lots of journaling around the page. Lots of little bits of journaling to explain what the different pictures are. Um, I have a plan for this. I just haven't done it yet. So more pictures from in the museum. Little bits of embellishing. Just little clusters here and there. Um, and considerable amounts of journaling. This, I know what I want to put the picture of. It's of us standing on the Prime Meridian. I just wanted to print it bigger. I just haven't done it yet, but I do have that picture. Um, views of the park. Just a bit of journaling, very minimal embellishment. Again, I find that when I do an album, like start to finish, uh, there's very minimal embellishment in it. Whereas if I'm doing like a page just like of my dog or of us out walking or something, there's more embellishment on it. Oh. Oh, I apologize. So these are pictures of animals that we saw in the park and my little squirrel, he's looking straight at me and he's oh so cute. And there he is there again. Actually it might be different squirrels. I'm not sure. I don't remember. This is um, from uh, Pink Paisley paper collection. I cut the, the map so that it was the United Kingdom. Birds, pigeons, and then this journaling is explaining this picture. It's not exactly appropriate for children to hear the story. So this is the final page in the album. As of right now, I don't think I will be adding any more pages past this. You never know. I might put a picture of the view of from the observatory because I don't think I actually have any pictures of that. So I might do that. Um, there's deer in the park, just a bit of journaling. Uh, and that is my whole album from my trip to the UK, um, 2016. Um, so thank you for watching. Thank you if you made it through this far. And I hope you like the style of pocket page and 12 by 12 page scrapping in one album. It does make scrapbooking an entire trip a lot easier. So thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye!